Hello! Today for review I've got another really interesting IEMs from China and uh, this time their name is absolutely non-pronounceable. It's uh, BGVP DMG. I don't know, maybe it means something, but I have no idea what it means. It is very interesting model because they are using two double balanced armatures per side. So it's uh, double balanced armature for mid and uh, double balanced armature for treble. And they are using uh, dual dynamic driver uh, uh, some dual uh, diaphragm speaker with uh, some high touch membrane, so it's uh, totally six uh, drivers per side for balanced armatures and dual dynamic. And uh, they, mo they are made of metal, and you know the funniest thing that you can get them for about one hundred forty dollars. Uh, Chinese manufacturers often surprise me how many of how many stuff, how much stuff uh, they can put into this uh, really low price. So let's have a closer look now. Box is fairly simple, but it's nice even for more expensive models probably. So on the side market color because you can get them in different colors. I will put links to the Amazon and AliExpress in description. So mine are black and version without microphone, but you can get one with a microphone. On the back side there is a technical specification and it's the most interesting scene. So sensitivity is 110 decibels for uh, at 1 kilohertz, 18 ohms of impedance, wide frequency range from 15 hertz to 45 kilohertz, low distortion, normal rated power, so everything is pretty good. It's not the hard to drive model, so but not too sensitive to be really noise speaking but of course on sensitive side. Inner part is made of recycled cardboard, so probably BGVP care about our planet, or maybe they don't. Inside, fun thing, you see they put the IEMs into another box, separate box. So let me unpack it all. There are a lot of stuff in the accessory set. Cable. Warranty card, manual, so let's unwrap it. IEMs. Let me shake it. So here, IEMs themselves. And let's see, probably here we should have tips. So yes, we have tips. So pair of forms, two set uh, of uh, silicon tips, three pair each, and another one are installed here. And tuning filters, because yes, this model has uh, uh, tune swappable filters for tuning for tunable sound. And a short clip, but actually this cable is pretty soft, so I don't see big reason in using it. So as you can see, accessory set is really good. Speaking about build quality and design, it is another model that looks much more expensive than uh, it is in real life. So if someone will show me this model and ask uh, who made this and how much it cost, I will probably name some uh, high-end IEMs manufacturer and I've started my guesses, I don't know, probably $300 or even more because they look really nice. As you can see, case uh, is uh, case has anatomic shape, but it's made of metal. I'm not really good in metal works. I don't know how do they made it, but it looks really smooth, solid, and uh, with nice finish. Here they. Here are the spouts, they are pretty short, not very long, but uh, because they are placed on this side, actually they fit nicely into the ears and provide normal isolation, not uh, superb, but normal. For busy, for noisy street or public transport it will be enough, and probably in subway you will need something else. And as for wearing comfort, they fit really nicely, at least to my ears, because all ears are different. This part goes on its place and they provide really nice, comfortable and secure fit. Spouts can be unscrewed, so you can unscrew it and replace with another filter. So, unfortunately there is no, not much chance to see what's inside, but I suppose everything is as they described. So, 
let me put tips back here they are cable is made replaceable they are using MMCX connector let's try it nice well defined click so pretty good and reliable connectors I think it's pretty, pretty probably with normal quality and second one so normal clamping force you won't need to pull really hard to disconnect but they stays perfect on their place and a bit unusual cable so as you can see it's not braided here it has unusual silver color and it fitted into PVC tube it looks really fancy and unusual so the rough your hooks are formed here but there is no memory wire to bend it to, to form it but they do their job nice so they stand on their place normally and the cable goes straight to the splitter splitter is made of metal there is chin slider and here it goes simply braided way down below to the jack so jack is angled it's pretty good to keep your uh, your player's socket safe cable is uh, has a bit of my tiny bit of microphonic but uh, you know actually it's just a tiny bit and this over is a ear wearing allows you to avoid it it's really soft it's not getting hard when it's cold and it's really really one of the probably best cables in this price range both by look and by wearing comfort and uh, sonic i've tried some more expensive cables but this one really stands on par with more expensive ones and of course about the sound so let's put some dub on the table to serve as an just an, as an illustration so it's not the dub i've used to critical listening of course i listen them with ap80 by heidi's but of course to uh, to determine the full potential of these models i've used my Aston Kern Ultima and Lotu Puff Gold but anyway of course uh, ap80 costs 30 probably actually let me think 35 times less but it's still very enjoyable with this model anyway uh, sonically you know those are really basic it's like uh, some child of uh, some child of sony's models because it's probably the closest models by the in terms of representation that i've tested actually i use them with these silver filters they are the most natural if i remember right because gold one are the basiest and uh, black one are balanced and silver one is more treble forward but anyway even with this filter they are actually offer really lot of uh, powerful bass you know they really provide this like let's say subwoofer effect of course it's not super bass heavy model but bass is always noticeable and it's uh, really dominating so if you like models like uh, sony's z5 if i remember right hybrids uh, campfire audio polaris probably campfire audio atlas so this really good bass uh, heavy models with accented lows it's an option for you so bass is uh, pretty fast and pretty deep it has good amounts of body good amounts of weight it's not dry it's uh, it has a bit slow actually probably not slow their decay, decays are a bit slower and but at, at, attacks are really crisp and fast so it's like adding additional weight to the lower frequencies and sometimes it sounds really great sometimes it's just okay so it's a matter of uh, preferences it's good in texturing uh, not superb you know because uh, this uh, to get a superb bay superb texturing you need to make bays really dry and uh, fast but anyway it's good in texturing it's it has good resolution definitely good instrument separation and of course all the instruments in low reg registers have a good low good uh, amount of body so as an example let's say in interesting uh, group exasense exasense i 
I don't know, sorry, how to pronounce it correctly, Exosense. It's a kind of post-rock or post-metal with really great ambient. And this ambient is built of low frequencies. And actually, this IEMs really represent them nicely. They creating really good atmosphere, atmosphere of this depression. Actually, not maybe not depression because Exosense is not typical post-rock group full of depression and sadness. They are more about space and travel, and you got this ambient background really, really, really. I forgot the proper word. Sorry, really confident background. Let's say it. So it's really good in combination with the sound staging. So mid frequencies are a bit shadowed by this. Base, but they are really crisp and clear thanks to these dual balanced armatures for mid frequencies because you know uh, it, they are definitely present even on the most bass heavy tracks you can definitely still hear, hear these mids and uh, they are really crisp but not going to seem too analytical they have mids here have a good body and I like uh, it's one of my preferences. I like the body of meat. So, as an example, as an example, <clears throat> another interesting artist. You know, it's a Serbian uh, Serbian musician, uh, mostly one man band. Uh, David, Mac David, probably David Maxim Micic. He plays guitars and creating really great. It's great works. Probably I can't classify them. It's kind of Post rock or post metal or something like that, with influences of jazz and other styles like that. And his album Bilo Part Three offers really great keyboard intro and it sounds really nicely with this lively mix of this model and with a combination of lower frequencies accompanying them. It's really how to say it? It gives you really wow, really strong wow effect. It sounds really efficient. Maybe it's you know it's not really natural and monitoring and analytical and natural way of representing music, but it's definitely enjoyable. Imaginary stage is a bit above average in both in width and in depth, but in depth they really adding additional depth because lows are acting probably separately from mids and treble, and you've got this effect of uh, depth separation of different layers it's also pretty efficient but anyway positioning and staging is also really nice and uh, treble it's uh, you know it's typical treble of typical good dual balanced armatures made by Knowles you can probably know what to expect here they are extended they have good extension they are clean, crisp, clear. If you are treble phobic, probably you should listen to this model before buying. And uh, I'm okay with treble. I even like treble. Not too much, but uh, I like when it's not uh, shy and too analytical. So it's really good with normal attacks, normal decays, with uh, basic layering of treble, with normal resolution. So, you know, just everything that you can probably expect from good uh, travel so and uh, as example let's uh, say cla classical progressive rock band Marillion their recent album Fear and the uh, good uh, track Living in Fear of course it's not that Marillion with fish that we that everyone loves and but it's uh, good band with uh, neo progressive uh, with interesting work this uh, this is really good album you know it probably can't be compared with classical marillion lineup but it's uh, still really enjoyable music in our age of pop music uh, having good neo progressive album it's always a great thing so their track living in fear is perfect illustration for good treble because it's full of background effects, uh, it's full of decays, it's spacious and uh, with this uh, IEMs it sounds really unusual. Personally I prefer, you know, more natural representation with a bit less bass quantity, but anyway it's a really enjoyable way. 
I probably won't do comparisons because you know this model really stands out from typical models in this price range because of this heavy base, but it uh, still probably, you know, as I, I, in this case I usually say something like you should listen them before buying and so on, but in this case you should simply consider do you want a really good, powerful base or not and do you like this signature or not. Uh, so I don't see much reason in making comparisons, so <laughs> every single model I can remember right now, you know, sounds really different. But uh, once again, I want to highlight that it's not typical bus heavy model when you just had, uh, when you just having uh, only bass and that's all. Uh, bass here is really good and it's really strong, but it's accompanied by really good crisp meats and uh, by good treble. So it's pretty unusual, but uh, you know, it's fun signature. If you like this funny signature it can be definitely an option for you and with uh, if you are base head if you want more base with gold and black filters it's probably one of the most satisfying it will be one of the most satisfying models for you thank you for attention